Alright guys, so now that I've got the casting deck finished on this boat, there's only one thing left to do before I throw the motor on and it's ready to go in the water, and that is that I'm going to put bottom paint on it. So I wanted to make sure that the bottom be protected for, you know, in case I hit stumps and rocks and things like that. So um, I got this stuff called Fasco Steel Flex Super Slick, and this stuff is about 50 bucks. It's a two-part epoxy, and um, one quart of it uh, covers 30 square feet. Now this is a 1236 John boat. That means that the bottom of the boat is 12 feet by 36 inches. So 36 inches, three feet. That means that I can cover 10 feet of the length of the bottom of the boat with three foot three foot width so the first thing i'm going to do is measure the area that i'm going to be covering so that when i start sanding off the paint i don't have to sand any extra Remember, before you do any of this kind of stuff, you need to have your safety equipment. So there's going to be a lot of dust flying around, so I'm going to wear a little respirator mask to protect my lungs, some glasses for my eyes, and gloves for my hands. So I ran into a little problem. Um, my wire wheel started coming apart on me. While I was using it, I started feeling little pinches. And uh, I guess these were snapping off. And they're like flying at you like little darts. And they get stuck in my shirt and stuff. So this just goes to show when you're doing this, you gotta wear eye protection because it's pretty crazy. Anyway, I went and picked up a different one. And I got one of these. So the, the brush comes out at a 90 degree angle, and that way it's gonna keep a lot of the dust out of my face, I think, just the way I'm gonna be using it. And also, I think there's gonna be less of these flying out. All right, so the boat's sanded, cleaned off, we wiped it down with alcohol and acetone, and now it's time to mix the epoxies. So the instructions say to add the pigment to part two before you mix part one and two together, so. This stuff looks gross. Add the pigment. The color that I picked is olive drab in hopes that it will kind of match the boat. So I'm going to scoop the whole ounce in there and get this mixed up and I'll show you what color it's looking like. I would say that this is uh, 
It's a little darker than what my boat is, but keep in mind it's gonna get diluted a little bit once I add the other part. So get this mixed up real good. And then once I add part one, this immediately basically starts curing. So then we have very little time to get this on. So I've got my girlfriend here helping and we're gonna try and move as quickly as possible because Danny did this with the same stuff and he said that uh, he basically had like 10 minutes of working time before it uh, started getting tacky. So we're gonna go full speed. It's the moment of truth. Yo. Remember when you're mixing this stuff, really scrape the edges of the, the bucket because if this stuff doesn't mix well, you're gonna end up with a tacky, sticky end result. You don't want that. All right, well, I think that went relatively well. Definitely not as even as I would have liked. There's definitely more on this side than on that side, but uh, that's okay. I think it's gonna work out just fine. So we'll see what it looks like in the morning. All right, so I've let this dry overnight now, and uh, it looks pretty good. I mean, it's not, it's not perfect, but um, it's super smooth, as the name implies, super slick. And when I compare it to like the side of the boat where it hasn't been done yet, it's uh, it's definitely a lot smoother on the bottom here. So um, I believe this is the log right here. Yeah. Ah!